When we asked Angela for a special nursing moment, she recalled the patient who had left the floor of her rehab so deconditioned, deconditioned that he could not walk. When he returned to thank her, it was the first time she'd seen him walk. Wow, was all I kept thinking, she recalled. The power of the human spirit. Well, I wish that I could introduce you to both Angela and Anne right now, and make a very difficult decision to stay in MD Anderson with her husband, who's still in the hospital. I would like to thank um, her parents, John and Margaret Balbus, for joining us this evening to honor Angela on Anne's behalf. They are Anne's parents. Angela, if you and Valgus would join me on the stage as we once again turn our attention to our video screens well, where we will hear Anne's essay. It's difficult to stand out head and shoulders above the other nurses at an institution of MD Anderson's magnitude, but Angela Crash does stand out, not only for her exceptional clinical skills, but also for her caring compassion and commitment, not only to my husband, but to me. A year ago on March 30th, my then fiancé, James, mid called me mid-afternoon, slightly panicked, saying his doctor had just told him to go directly to an ER. All his blood clouds were dangerously low, and it could not wait through the weekend. James had not been feeling well overall and got unusually winded on the walk the day before, prompting him to go see his doctor. We had no idea what any of that meant at the time, but six hours later, doctors hospitalized James and told us he likely had leukemia. We were in complete and utter shock, and our lives took a 180 degree turn. Just the night before, I was bugging James to decide if he wanted to wear tails or a tux to our wedding that was planned for a few months later in August. Now we were planning to battle for his life. James's leukemia diagnosis was one of, more, one of the more dire subsets. It requires a bone marrow transplant for even a chance to live. However, his insurance company would only do the transplant at a stem cell center of excellence. So we transferred our lives from, Houston, from New Orleans to Houston and to MD Anderson and ended up in the intensive care of Angela Crash. We met Angela when James was readmitted to the hospital in November for complications following his August stem cell transplant. Expected complications such as graft versus host and some not so expected complications such as a viral encephalitis and a suspected fungal pneumonia created this perfect storm of complications for James. He's been in the hospital for the last five months with the exception of 14 days before Christmas. Angela admitted James that first night when he transferred from the ATC into the inpatient stem cell transplant unit. She was welcoming, clinically efficient in those first 24 hours, but it wasn't until later that we found out just how truly exceptional she is. As James's encephalitis began to resolve, he started eating again and had this delayed cough. Angela was the first to note the cough might be something more she suspected he was silently aspirating. She persistently approached the medical team to advocate for a chest x-ray and a barium swallow test, which not only confirmed he, that he was silently aspirating, but also that he had developed aspiration pneumonitis. Her insistence led to interventions for James that have kept him alive and in a rehabilitative state. It is her ability to go beyond the everyday responsibilities of nursing and to use a professional's intuition to anticipate problems that make her such an exceptional clinician. And this was not an isolated incident. A few weeks later, James was extremely lethargic and fatigued. Angela quickly assessed that his oxygen saturation was ab dangerously and abnormally low. She quickly intervened and within a few moments had an entire team of professionals at his bedside to transition James to the ICU where his pulmonary function would be better monitored. He was later diagnosed with pneumonia that the doctors still suspect was fungal. Angela goes above and beyond to make sure James is progressing physically. She's right there for him every day with a smile underneath her mask, unmatched energy, and a can-do attitude. She doesn't simply administer medications. She's willing to attend to his global care needs, including physical therapy work. Sadly, James is bedridden and must be prompted to do the various exercises he has to do each day to get better. Angela is the only nurse who consistently finds ways to engage him in ways that he responds to. The results are tangible when she cares for him. I credit her with kickstarting his recovery, pushing him to do more each day and knowing when to push. 
She also takes time to make sure that I understand everything that's going on with James medically. She eases my fears and even checks on us when she doesn't have us after her shifts. Though many nominations include stories of nurses going above and beyond to clinically support their patients, what really sets Angela apart further in our minds was her making our wedding day perfect and special, even in a hospital. James and I originally planned our wedding for August of 2012, and after he was diagnosed, we decided we'd get married when he was done and returned, after home, or returned home after his transplant. We have yet to return home, and it's still unclear when we might leave the hospital. But what we've been through together this past year, we just didn't want to wait, and we wanted to go ahead and say, I do. We arranged to have our wedding and reception at MD Anderson, but Angela was instrumental in making it a reality. She orchestrated a dress rehearsal for James a couple of days before, making sure she could get him in his tuxedo. She carefully camouflaged his catheter and rectal tube on his, the wheelchair, ensuring that he was fully dressed, and she gave him his dignity back. She was off the day of our wedding, but came in anyway. She came in to dress him and make sure that he looked good, ensuring that he looked his best in front of friends and family and had some of his dignity. She even celebrated with us as a member of our now extended MD Anderson family. It's impossible to convey the magnitude of what her kindness means to me and to James that day. Angela's love for her job shows not only through her work, but also her compassion for patients and family members alike. She is truly, truly exceptional. It's with great enthusiasm that I nominate her for recognition as one of this country's best oncology nurses. We're very sad that we can't be there in DC with you all to celebrate this and to be there for you, Angela. My parents are there. They know you very well. They've seen what you've done for James. And we just want to wish you good luck. Thank you.